Hey. Say something with that great radio voice. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Remember when we found out that Ted Williams, um, a guy that someone had countered on the side of the road, had that beautiful voice. It has been three years since we met him, and his life pretty much has changed overnight. Since then, he's had some ups and downs, but has managed to stay on his feet, and we caught up with him in this version of, Hey, I Know You. Hey, you're that guy, or... Hey, man, are you the dude with the voice? You know, Ted Williams' life has changed dramatically since his million-dollar voice went viral, so to speak. And we'll be back with more right after these words. We're 25 miles from that actual spot where I was uh, somewhat discovered. He was living in Ohio on the streets. Now he lives with his longtime girlfriend in their own place. This is the house. Let me show you. I couldn't believe, Robin, that I'd have a fireplace. Whoa, a homeless man with a fireplace. But it has been a long road to where he is. I do wear a lot of uh, uh, um, titles on my sleeve. Homelessness, drug addiction, um, redemption, second chance. Now, he started a nonprofit that helps homeless shelters, and his well-known voice has landed him work on television commercials. Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. You know you love it. He also wrote a book called A Golden Voice. This cover shot was taken on the same identical corner that I, I stood on. And he hopes that his story will inspire others to get through their own personal struggle. He admits he started drinking again after all the attention, but has been sober, he says, for more than two years now. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. He's also reconnected with some of the family members that he was apart from for years. The prayers that are answered in my life today were prayers that were prayed years ago. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Hi. Ted, it's so good to see that you're doing well. Um, he's moved from his condo into his own house now since we interviewed him. And he's working with a program that gives away free cell phones to people who might not be able to afford a cell phone otherwise. Um, so glad to see he's doing well. You know what? Let's all pull for him that he keeps doing just as well.